In this example, we'll start with a CAD file. A CAD file could be a DWG AutoCAD file, a DGN MicroStation file, a DXF file. In our case, it will be a DWG file. We can import two different ways, one by dragging and dropping into the plan view, or one by going to File Import. In this case, we'll just drag and drop it directly into the plan view. We can also start takeoffs with PDFs, and we'll show that process a little bit later. Once we've imported the CAD file, we see it appear in the plan view. Now let's bring in the PDF and georeference it to the CAD data. Go to the File menu, Import. Here we can select the folder from which we want to import, and then see all the files in that folder and select the ones that we want. In this case, we'll take the Trimble Building PDF grading plan. If we select the file and then go to View File from the top of the command, here it'll open up the PDF. In this case, you'll notice it's a vector PDF file that was generated directly from the CAD program. Because the lines are nice and clear, they're not uh, pixelated at all, and we see all the layers that are in the file as well that came directly from the CAD program. When importing PDFs, it's important to restrict the page range since PDFs can have several hundred pages depending on the type of project. In this case, we only have one, so we don't have to do this, but on larger projects, you'd want to import only the specified page range that you're looking for. Now click Import, and the PDF will be imported. When it's imported, we won't directly see it right away because we don't know where the PDF is supposed to go and we need to position it to the CAD data. Once the PDF is imported, we can go to the Project Explorer, Expand Imported Files, and here we'll see the Trimble Building PDF Grading Plan. Now we'll georeference the PDF to the CAD data. We can get to this by going to right-clicking on the image and then go to Georeference Vector PDF or the Image menu, Georeference Vector PDF. This will display the PDF right behind the CAD data, and you'll see that it's a little bit shifted, and we need to tell it how to shift onto the CAD data. Now, it can be a little bit confusing looking at the CAD data and trying to see the image at the same time. So what we're going to do here is change the vector PDF page to None to make it disappear, and then pan the CAD data over out of the way first, and now select the PDF page so that we can see it clearly on its own. Now we simply need to pick two points from the PDF that match up to the CAD data. The first point we'll choose is the upper left-hand corner of the parking area. So we choose the image pixel that we want to ro use to rotate and scale the image. And we come over onto the CAD data and select the same point. When you have the first point in, zoom out and go back to the PDF and select a second point. In this case, we'll choose the lower right-hand corner of the parking area and zoom out and now go pick the second point, which is the second point on the CAD file. So here again, we'll choose the lower right-hand corner of the parking area Once we select the two points, then we click Register, and now the PDF is brought behind the CAD data. If we zoom in, we should see that it matches up perfectly. It's important to check a few points to make sure that you've georeferenced the image properly.